This is Stéphane Marek from Conductor, and welcome to this lecture, which will be a Conductor hands-on, during which we will connect to a secure cafe cluster in the cloud. So I have created an account on Confident Cloud, and I'm going to create a, a cluster there, so demo cluster. And the reason I do so is that I want to show you what it's like to have a secure cluster in the cloud of Confluent because it is a secure cluster and we will set up conductor to connect to this cluster. So let's go ahead and create this cluster. And I'm going to create a basic cluster because the base cost is none and we'll be using this cluster very, very lightly. Okay, so we'll begin the configuration. Uh, we want it to be on AWS in US East 2, so this is free and we're in a single zone availability. This is, again, just to show you what it's like to connect to a secure cluster. This is not in no way a production setup that I'm doing right now. So this is cluster zero. Uh, the base cost is zero per hour. And then I'm not going to write much and I'm not going to read much. So they shouldn't be billing me anything for my Kafka usage. Okay, so let's launch this cluster. So my cluster is now created, but I want to use conductor to connect to it. So for this, I'm going to client on the left-hand side and I'm going to create a cafe cluster API key and secrets. So this gives me a key and a secret, and I can just enter it as a Kafka admin, for example. And then I need to choose the configuration. So we are using Java configuration to connect to our cluster. So there's a lot of information in here around how to connect to our cafe cluster. So let's go one by one. So these information represents the bootstrap server as well as other information to connect securely to our cluster. So let's go ahead and set up Conductor the right way. So we're going to add a new cluster. I'll call this Confluent Cloud. And there will be an integration if you wanted to, to have some information on how to do it. So anyway, we're just going to name it Confluent Cloud. And the bootstrap servers have to be these ones. So I'm going to copy this as my bootstrap servers, okay? Next, we need to set up some additional properties. Because right now, if I try to set up Kafka connectivity, it's going to fail because I haven't set up the security mechanism. So I need to copy all these settings right here into my configuration. So this is not really well done, but let's just go ahead and remove what's needed to be removed. Okay, so these settings should be enough to connect to my Kafka cluster. So let's remember, we have one, two, three, four settings. Okay. So depending on the type of security you have in your cafe cluster, you will need to ask your administrators what are the additional properties that are needed by your cafe clients in Java form to connect to your cluster. But this is usually available once a secure cluster is created. So when this is done, I can just click on test Kafka connectivity and it says that the connection is successful and therefore my Kafka is correctly set up in secure mode. I'm going to set a color for this. I'm going to set up a teal color. Next, schema registry. So if I go here and scroll down, what we need to do is to create our own schema registry. So let's go ahead and set this up with Confluent Cloud to get it uh, set up. So I'm going to click on demo cluster at the top, and then I'm going to click on schema registry. And here I can, I'm going to close this, do a guided setup for the schema registry. So I'm going to do this. I want to deploy it into the US region, okay? And then I'm going to click on next. And it is now corrected. So now I have my schema registry available for me. And as we can see here, there is an API endpoint that I can be using. So also I can use the credentials to get access to my schema registry. So I can here create my secrets, my key and my secrets. So here we go, we have enough. So now I have saved those into new tabs just in case. Yes, I have saved them and click on continue. And so click on done. Now the key is created. And so I just need to set up my schema registry in Confluent, uh, in Con Conductor. So for this, I paste the URL in here for the schema registry endpoints. And then for basic auth, I enter for the username what I got in the first one as the first key. And for the password, what I got as the second key. And I will test the connectivity. And it says, oops, can't connect. So it says unauthorized for this, so let's try again. Okay, now this was just a transient error. Now the connection is okay. So this is perfect. My Kafka cluster and schema registry are set up correctly. And I'm going to click on save. Now Confluent Cloud is set up. I can click on it. And I'm now connected to my Confluent Cloud cluster. So in this example, we have 18 brokers. As we can see, they're all here. So it's a lot bigger Kafka cluster. 
we don't have any topics yet, so we could go ahead and create a topic. For example, demo topic, we could create with 20 partitions and a replication factor of three. Create this topic, and here we go. Our demo topic has been created, and it could be fun to look at the spread of partitions per broker or the spread of partitions per broker with this view as well. Okay, but the important thing is around security. So here is the security tab, so security is enabled. And as you can see right now, I can do everything I was doing in Conductor um, just with uh, a connection that is secure. So it would be a lot more complicated to do with a CLI. But as we can see, once we set up the security options in Conductor, it becomes a lot easier to just use Conductor normally. We don't even know that we're connected to a secure Kafka cluster. And so finally, if you wanted to add ACLs for your Kafka cluster, you could create them. And so I want to create, for example, ACLs for a producer. And then you would need to specify which topic they have access to, for example, a demo topic, and say, okay, anyone can access, can write to demo topic. So I'm just going to leave everything empty to say anyone can, from anywhere, can write to this demo topic. Click on create and close. And this goes ahead and creates our first ACLs for this topic. So this is basically the idea behind security. So you could create uh, ACLs for consumers and say, uh, John uh, can have access from anywhere to, again, the demo topic. So only John can read from the demo topic with the consumer group, John group. And click on create and close. And again, this will create the ACLs for us automatically. So this is quite neat and you can import and export SELs if you wanted to. But as you can see, when we are connected to a security enabled cafe cluster, we can use conductor to edit the security ACLs, which can be quite handy. So that's it for this lecture. I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next lecture.